Controller Pilot Data Link Communication CPDLC. A320, Mentor Channel. Controller Pilot Data Link Communications, CPDLC. Introduction. This article gives an overview of Controller Pilot Data Link Communications, CPDLC. It describes the main principles, the different data link services, and the basics of CPDLC operations, including related phraseology. The goal is to provide background information for understanding the safety issues related to this technology. Definition Controller Pilot Data Link Communications, CPDLC, is a means of communication between controller and pilot using data link for ATC communications. Description CPDLC is a two way data link system by which controllers can transmit non urgent strategic messages to an aircraft as an alternative to voice communications. The message is displayed on a flight deck visual display. The CPDLC application provides air ground data communication for the ATC service. It enables a number of data link services, DLS, that provide for the exchange of communication management and clearance information request messages, which correspond to voice phraseology employed by air traffic control procedures. The controllers are provided with the capability to issue ATC clearances, level assignments, lateral deviations vectoring, speed assignments, etc., radio frequency assignments, and various requests for information. The pilots are provided with the capability to respond to messages, to request receive clearances and information, and to report information. A free text capability is also provided to exchange information not conforming to defined formats. The CPDLC is being globally implemented and currently is in different implementation stages. The implementation of CPDLC for the European airspace users operating above flight level 285 and A and SPs is addressed in the Data Link Services Implementing Rule. Data Link Services The following data link services are available. Data Link Initiation Capability, DLIC. This service provides the necessary information to make data link communications possible between an ATSU and aircraft. The DLIC service is executed prior to the first use of any other data link application. ATC Communications Management Service, ACM. This service provides automated assistance to flight crew and controllers for the transfer of ATC communications, voice and CPDLC. ATS Clearances Service, ACL. This service allows flight crews and controllers to conduct operational exchanges. Flight crews can send requests and reports and controllers can issue clearances, instructions, and notifications. ATC Microphone Check Service, AMC. This service allows controllers to send an instruction to all CPDLC-capable aircraft on a given frequency at the same time to verify that their voice communication equipment is not blocking a given voice channel. Departure Clearance, DCL. This service provides automated assistance for requesting and delivering departure clearances to aircraft. Downstream Clearance Service, DSC. This service is provided for flight crews who are required to request and obtain clearances from ATS units that are not yet in control of the aircraft when they cannot get the clearance information via the current ATS unit through unit-to-unit -unit coordination. The DLS are mandated the implementation of the the first four services only, notably DLIC, ACM, ACL, and AMC. Expected Benefits of CPDLC Less communication on the ATC frequency. Increased sector capacities. More pilot requests can be dealt with simultaneously. Reduced probability of miscommunication, e.g., do call sign confusion. Safer frequency changes, hence fewer loss of communication events. Main principles of CPDLC exchange. The following underlying principles are applicable to the use of CPDLC. Voice and data link shall coexist as a means of ATS communication. 
Implementation of CPDLC is intended as a supplementary means of communication to the use of voice communication. CPDLC shall only be used in the context of non-time critical communications. Time criticality is mainly determined by the following factors. ATS traffic situation, end-to-end -end performance, systems and flight crew controller response time, and recovery time. Users should be aware that while a voice response is generally expected in a few seconds, the latency of CPDLC is usually much longer, up to several minutes. The decision to use either voice or CPDLC shall be at the discretion of the controller and or pilot involved. Use of CPDLC. The extent to which CPDLC can replace voice communications is largely subject to local implementation choices. Although the technology allows a wide array of complex messages, the most commonly used are change of SS or code, transfer of control and communication, ATC clearances, e.g., level changes, vectoring, direct routing, speed control, that are not time critical. Response to aircraft CPDLC requests? Reverting from CPDLC to voice. Usually when a controller or pilot communicates via CPDLC, the response should be via CPDLC. When a controller or pilot communicates via voice, the response should be via voice. The following circumstances describe potential situations where the air-ground communications should revert to voice. When it is required to clarify the meaning or the intent of any unexpected, inappropriate or ambiguous CPDLC message. When it is necessary to ensure the timely execution of an instruction issued by CPDLC. When corrective actions are required with respect to unintended messages that have been sent using CPDLC. When a system generates a timeout or an error for a CPDLC message. CPDLC related phraseology. When voice communication is used to correct a CPDLC message, the following phrase is used Call sign, disregard CPDLC, message content or type message, corrected message. Example BTD 123 disregard CPDLC climb message, climb flight level 300. When receiving an alert for a single CPDLC message failure, the controller or pilot either confirms via voice the actions that will be undertaken with respect to the related dialogue, prefacing the information with the phrase CPDLC message failure, or uses CPDLC to reissue the message that failed. When receiving an alert that CPDLC has failed, the controller or pilot should revert to voice and inform the other side using the phrase CPDLC failure. In case of a complete CPDLC ground system failure, the controller should use a general call. All stations CPDLC failure, unit name. When a controller requires all stations or a specific flight to avoid sending CPDLC requests for a limited period of time, the following phrase shall be used. Call sign or all stations. Stop sending CPDLC requests until advised. The resumption of the normal use of CPDLC shall be advised by using the following phrase. Call sign or all stations. Resume normal CPDLC operations. A320 Mentor Channel.